going to Cow for the Oyster, South Australian Oyster Conference. Where all the oyster growers go, and this year it's in Cow, Franklin Harbour. We're taking our, our good friends, Dylan and Tash. <laughs> this little place called Harry's Homemade Fine Foods. Here, follow me. They do pizza, coffee, fine foods, but my favourite thing at this place, besides their seafood that they have in there, is the giant salamis that they do. She loves me not, she loves me, 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 she loves me, yeah! We drove up Wednesday, so we've been here three days so far, and we're leaving tomorrow. It's a 10 hour drive if you include the ferry. I had to do a meeting with the Sayoga and Sayoga executive, and then we went to the Sayoga AGM and conference. And they had a trade show at the end too, where you could look at like new spat bags and new inventions that they've created for the oyster industry. Well, this is the first time he's been to see how all these other farms work. So he went out on one of the boats. One of the cow farmers took him out on his boat. And he learnt how all these other farmers do it and went through the sheds and got some ideas and Good for him to meet other farmers. So we come up here, and he's he's our num he's my number one man for the on the farm. And we learnt about the effects that the Poms has had in Tasmania. Poms is Pacific Oyster Mortality Syndrome, and they had it an outbreak in Tasmania. And one of the Tasmanian farmers came over to tell us the effect it's had, and it's wiped out farms, wiped out 90, 100 percent of their stock. How South Australia can try and learn from that to be ready for when Thomas comes, not if, but when. Great experience. Learned a lot of things. Loved it, it was really nice. Going out in the other oyster boats would have been my favourite.